The views expressed in this video are that of a hobbyist, not of a business owner or a commercial operation. Clear as mud? Hello again, we are back one week later. Got four more towers installed here and I've decided I'm gonna change my gears just a little bit. So instead of having four towers based on this segment size, I'm just gonna have these two rows of the three by three segments and then another row of just three by four segments and the last row of four by four segments. And that is so I can test everything side by side in direct sunlight rather than under grow lights in my house. I've already done plenty of testing in there, but now I want to test things under direct sunlight while I get the other racks built. And as you can see, I showed you a couple days ago, those girls that came over to fill the greenhouse full of the crushed concrete did an awesome job and I am going to be hiring them again to help me fill up these uh, last six wicking beds after I get my crap out of them help me mix up the soil and fill them up because you know if it only cost me $250 to have something done in one day I think I would rather do that than do the whole thing myself and be all pissed off because it took me three months to do it. Okay. Oh, and as you can see, yes, the lava rock is in the bottom there. The towers are actually starting to cycle. This one, I can tell, is already cycled because the water is running down the sides of the in inside of the tower. That it's developed the biological slime, the bacterial film, whatever you want to call it. So that one is done. The other ones are catching up. And as you can see on top of this second blue one here, I have a little bit of a leak in my fitting up at the top. The water is running down the side of the rubber tube. Not a big deal. That bacterial slime film, whatever, will actually fill that up and probably I'm going to give it a week. We got that, and we got that. So now we're off to the races. I have starter plants that I'm going to bring out here today to put in the first tower, and I'm just going to keep starting more plants in the house. Um, I was going to point out on that last video that I posted, there was like this huge debate about uh, somebody thought that everything I'm doing here is like so complicated. And if you look at other people's plumbing systems and uh, in their aquaponics, I mean, mine is as basic as basic gets. There is nothing complicated going on here. Which is why I keep using that phrase, keep it stupid simple. And those words in that order, too. I mean, this is stupid simple. Um, the only thing that might be complicated is the 3D printer that I use, or the 3D printers. <laughs> um, but you know, if that's holding a person back from doing anything, you know, sorry, I guess there are other avenues you can go, but that's the most complicated thing I'm doing is using a 3D printer. And as to the question of what my end goal is here, I don't know how many times I have to tell people this is a hobby. The beginning of each video clearly says that too. This is a hobby, not a commercial operation. Um, Maybe eventually, when it, when I'm ready to retire, it'll turn into a business, but not off of the towers. It'll be a business selling products out of the greenhouse, but definitely not off the towers. And if somebody looks at my towers and says, "Oh God, that's more complicated than I want to, you know, I want to deal with," that's fine with me too. I don't have any uh patents on this or any vested interest where i'm trying to recover my money like those guys in wyoming i mean if someone decides not to use mine i'm not out anything really seriously 
Just keep in mind, people, this is a hobby. Just like anybody who collects stamps, does quilting, crocheting, whatever it is. It's a hobby. So I'm going to get off of here and go get my starter plants and bring those out here since, as you can see, it's nice and cloudy today. I like cloudy days. So this is a good day to work in the greenhouse. So, and then that gets cleaned out today too. Take it easy. We'll catch you next time around. Bye.